Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to Loca Bricks. I am your host, Tony. And well, today we're going to build a boat on a ship. A boat on a cruise ship. I've got the 2021 Ideas Gift with Purchase Lego Set Sailboat Adventure, uh, set number 40487, 330 pieces. And th this is a beaut. You got brick built sails, you got dolphins. I think we're just gonna have some sticker elements, but uh, yeah. Uh, join me for the next however long it takes to build this thing alive. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kick it off. So let's get set up for the build. All right, here we go. Now I am building this in front of a live audience, and a little later on I'll have some audience interaction, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure that I can multitask that well. Let's see what we've got here. Such nice. I've had this one on the shelf for, like I said, since 2021, and I'm glad to finally get into it. We've got one, two, Three, four, five, six bags. One, two, three number ones and three number twos. And of course we have a book here. And we do have a sticker element. The Eloise sticker element. And then a couple of these golden rods. So let's get the book going here. So in my preparation, you know, two of my favorite things really is traveling, cruising specifically, and Lego. And so this is really one of the first times I've tried to combine the Endeavor. And I thought I'd do pretty good at getting ready for this trip, except I did not bring a brick separator. And the five or six sets that I brought to build, they don't come with a brick separator. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I don't run into any need for brick separation. Oddly enough, when uh, two minifigures, when they decide to get divorced, they, they go to a brick separator. Okay, that was horrible. That was a horrible joke. All right, let's get into this. You always got to check the bags. I don't know how many times I've been building a set at home and can't find one piece and it's stuck in one of these tiny little bags. Alright, not the biggest uh, area to build on. Probably won't do a full separation or sorting of the parts, but see if we can get them spread out a little bit to make our task a little easier and it looks like we're starting with the mini figures let's see we got a little sailor don't forget to put on your life jacket it looks like we're making a little woman sailor with a nice smile look at that smile and let's see if we can find her hairdo So now not only do we have an audience out there on the internet, but we also have a minifigure audience. What shall we call her? The hair's a little light, but uh, I wouldn't mind naming her Jenny after my lovely bride. Little little light there. All right. And number two, we're looking for a pair of legs. Let's see. Here's the head. What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do? It's been a pretty interesting day on the cruise ship. Um, unfortunately, we've had a medical evacuation. So we left out of Tampa, Florida yesterday. And then we had a medical evacuation today. Uh, Coast Guard just airlifted a passenger off of the cruise ship to return them 
uh, to Florida. They're going to take him to Miami. Uh, from what I hear, the medevac went well, and uh, that person is on their way to get care. It's um, if you're new to cruising or unfamiliar to cruising, it's not a it's not an infrequent thing for that to happen, but uh, yeah, it, it apparently it went well today. So that's that's good, uh, as good as possible when you have something like a medical evacuation. And this minifig got a cool hairdo and a pair of binoculars. Don't use these binoculars to look directly into the solar eclipse. I don't know, has the solar eclipse even happened yet? Uh, there we go. Okay, the minifigures are created. Where do we go next? Where do we go next? Yeah, what I didn't realize until I started taking a closer look at the box is that there really is a nice base uh, to this model, which I'm digging. I just realized I think I stick my tongue out when I build Lego, so uh, please, please don't make fun of me too hard. It's pretty, pretty spiffy. Pretty spiffy. Got some big pieces going together already. Let's see. Six more of these little cheese wedges. They're going to some various places. So I think most of you guys know I've spent uh, the last 60 days at home uh, recovering from uh, surgery. So if you notice the next scar, I had my thyroid removed, which uh, went really well. It went as well as I don't think it could have went any better. Uh, but as someone who cruises and travels more than frequently one every 60 days, uh, it's been really nice just being back on a cruise ship and taking in the, the water and just uh, getting reacclimated to that cruise life. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, it, it can't be beat. It can't be beat. The set's already starting off really nice. I love these uh, clear pieces. We have more. I just took out both of the uh, minifigs. Should have been standing there. We'll finish a couple pages and then I'll pop over and see what you guys are doing in the chat. I don't really know. I'm kind of new to this whole building Lego live. I don't know what the protocol is, how much we talk to each other, but I do want to talk to you guys. The protocol. Starting to get tricky. So I'm not a hundred percent sure of the itinerary that I'm on because it's um so fourteen day cruise. And I've kind of memorized just the first couple days. So uh, we left out of Tampa yesterday. Uh, we crossed under the Sunset Bridge, and the sun had already, Sunset Skyway Bridge, the sun had already gone down. Uh, but, man, it was beautiful. They light that bridge up at night, and uh, it was really spectacular. And then woke up this morning for a sea day, and then we have another sea day tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we will uh, make port in Montego Bay in Jamaica. So, a uh, nice couple relaxing days at sea, which is uh, exciting. Exciting, exciting. I love a sea day. I love going and seeing new places, like going to port. But I also like days like today where you can just kind of relax, you know, and enjoy. You know, I went to the casino today. I... Of course, had some food. I did a little bit of work, 
and uh, it really just it's, I love it I love a good sea day it's starting to come along it's pretty cool so many of these clear pieces what would you do with a drunken sailor so early in the morning it's kind of wild with it being quiet while I'm building uh, at home I've been trying to work through some audio books while I build and uh, been listening to Ready Player Two which is the Ernest, uh, what's the guy's name? Ernest Klein, maybe that's his follow-up to Ready Player One. Uh, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. All right, so we got these big pieces going down in Funky Town. Really starting to form the bottom of our sailboat, which is cool. needed the brick separator which I do not have you gotta keep it separated there we go and one of these long plates for good measure to add some stability to the bottom of our boat I'm actually, uh, I'm actually very excited to be building a boat because most of the time on a cruise ship, uh, there's a few things in life that uh, cruisers take offense to. And if you call a cruise ship a boat, that's one of them because uh, this is certainly a ship and uh, not a boat. And so uh, it's nice to be able to uh, say boat freely without worrying about the wrath, the wrath of uh, the cruiser that's uptight about people saying boat mm. this is uh, pretty cool pretty cool oh, I like it I like it when you have these cool like uh, sometimes repetitive build like repetitive processes are a little annoying but I like it when it kind of looks cool and I think these 10 these 10 uh, elements here are going to look cool as we put them on the side of the boat so we got five on each side if I can find the 10th there we go Wow, so many different elements on this. It's, uh, these are nice. They're like uh, wood tiles. Tiles with a wood inlay on them. Pretty cool. Give you that boat feel. Call me in the morning. Two of these. So we're starting to make some progress here. We've got the base laid down. 
we've got the structure of the boat coming along. We've already got some wood elements. Um, but yeah, a very kind of fun build so far. Let's uh, let's see what's going on. What's going on over here in the chat? Uh, big shout out to everybody. I see uh, our friend Scott McNeil is here. My brother Retro Sarge, his uh, lovely bride Wanda cruising for food. Uh, Scott Ray, Kimmy, Kimmy, 127, Bonnie Ann Shelton. Oh, the lovely Jenny B, my beautiful bride, is here. What's going on, honey bunny? I'm going to make uh, you a moderator just in case anybody gets out of line. So, uh, any questions while we take a quick break on the, uh, on the, on the build? What's going on, bro? <laughs> That's funny. Cruising with Food said it's funny because Princess Cruises have the I love this boat as one of their ads around the ship. That's true. So, again, I don't know, I don't know how uptight anybody really should be, but I've heard a cruise captain, a pretty famous cruise captain, uh, in a talk one time be like, don't call don't call our wonderful ship a boat. So it's, it's, it's definitely funny where, uh, where people fall. What's going on, Jeff Hunt? All right, we're going to keep going. We'll keep going. We'll have some more chat in a minute. If you guys have any questions, just throw them in there. Put question in front of it, and I'll scroll up and try to, try to find it. All right, we completed that step. I was trying to think the other day what exactly I enjoy about Lego. You know, I've, I've had uh, some people be, uh, you know, not critical, but they'll ask the question, um, you know, aren't you, aren't you just playing with toys? And while that's true on some level, I do think that Lego is kind of good for people as they get older. It certainly helps the dexterity a little bit to be able to manipulate these pieces. And it also, I think, it, it kind of helps the cognitive part of your brain too because, you know, you've got to spatially figure out what you're doing. Make sure that you're matching the right, make sure that you're matching the right piece with the piece of the, the instruction. Like right there, I, I did it wrong, so I had to go back and undo it. Um, but I think all of that stuff is probably helpful. And then, of course, there's a collectability to it. Uh, my brother is in the chat. We both have... It could be an addiction to collecting things. Uh, I don't know what it is. Something about the hunt and being able to get something and then secure it. And I also like to sell stuff. So this is probably my third or fourth Lego collection. I had Lego when I was a kid and then... When I was older, I had more Lego, and I would sell it. And the beautiful thing about Lego, though, and, it, you know, nothing's 100% in life, but Lego is one of those things where most of the time you will uh, get a better return. You'll get a good return on investment. Like, uh, because they retire sets, nothing's forever in Lego. And so there is some scarcity to it, and there are some times where, uh, you know, if you don't buy a set, you're not going to be able to get it. And I call it dumb Lego. Like, I've, I've, I've purchased some stuff where I should have just bought it when it was out, and I didn't. And then I bought it after it retired for a higher price. And uh, that's what I call dumb Lego. But uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, when things get scarce, you have to, uh, you have to pay up. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can set the minifigures back up over here. I can... Maybe they'll want to stand over here in the shot and supervise. All right. I'm really digging uh, all the colors on this build, honestly. See, I think I just messed up again with no brick separator. No brick separator. Uh, I'm gonna hurt myself. I got tools. Maybe. Alright, I guess the Swiss Army knife will work as a brick separator.
these minifigure minifigures aren't safe anywhere, so I just uh, just knock them over over there too. All right. on these these pages look how far back I have to go to correct my mistake fortunately I don't think it's that hard to correct this piece goes the other way Anytime I have a knife out, my wife is not excited. There we go. All right. We can rebuild it. It's like the six million dollar man. the other nice thing it's it really is kind of like a checking and a rechecking process kind of making sure that it's there's nothing worse than well no it's it's wrong again did i put it on backwards again i'm mean, using the wrong piece this should be uh what have i done that should be clear should be smooth where Oh, no. It's the unbuildable boat. All right. This time we put it on correctly. Here we go. Like so. Then we get this piece. Very nice, very nice. Then we get this piece. Then we get this piece. Then we get this piece. All right. I think, I think we are okay. Does that look as it should? All right. Yes, it does. Now, we have this. This. All right, starting to come along. I don't know, what do you think? What's forward and what's aft on this ship? I think this is the front. I think it's the front. So, I think, uh, let me grab a soda here. Question from Kathy Mills. How hard are you finding it to talk and assemble because you seem to be doing a great job? I don't know that I've been doing a ton of talking, Kathy, but, uh, well, maybe just talking to myself. Not too bad. It is kind of a, a, a process to get used to. Uh, I like that from Cindy Osgood. Dental floss works well. 
Yeah, I can't believe I, I even thought about the brick separator. And kind of the, one of the most common questions is how do I intend to get all these Lego home? I'm going to do this. I got these large Ziploc bags. Hopefully these builds, everything I brought was kind of small, hopefully this size. So I'm going to put these back in the bag. And I kind of have a bag just dedicated to the Lego. So hopefully, I'm sure some of the pieces will get knocked off. But at least they'll all be contained in this Ziploc bag. I mean, I got like 12 of those bags, so each set will be there themselves. Let's see. Seems like I've lost connection to the chat, so let me, uh, I'll do a quick check on that to make sure we're still together. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. It does look like I'm not connected anymore, so I'm just going through this process to uh, to see what's up. It says I'm connected. Looks like I'm connected. Let's see if I can uh, talk to you guys. I think I'm back. You guys still there? I don't know. I think we. I think I dropped off for a minute. Uh, let's see. Kathy says, "How many sea days on this cruise?" I'm using my phone for the camera, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's. It could be five or six. So yeah. Shay's Art likes jigsaw puzzles. I do like jigsaw puzzles, too. I think they serve a lot of the same purpose uh, to help do things like spatial recognition and dexterity, that kind of thing. So, um, all right, let's continue on with our, with our boat. Excuse me for a second. I feel moisture under my nose. Okay, uh, ooh, this looks like an interesting little uh, assembly here. So we got through the April releases of Lego, and one of the biggest months for Lego is May, because I think this is the... Maybe the 25th anniversary of Lego Star Wars sets. or Could be right. Yeah, I think we just had the 40th anniversary of Lego. Maybe just the... Or not the 40th. The 40th anniversary of Star Wars. And so I think that... Um, so this May is a big deal. There's going to be a lot of new sets coming out. There we go. And then this. Interesting. That's an interesting setup there. I was wrong. This is going to be the back of the boat. And I think this is going to be the front of the boat. And I've got these nice uh, pieces to shape up the boat here. I'm going to strong arm it and knock them off. Good. the other thing sometimes sometimes you can be a little too forceful 
And for me, that's a lot of the times. Let's see if we can do this with some gentleness. There we go. An exercise in patience. There we go. Nice. I like that. Do, 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 do. We are uh, getting close to the end of these first bags here, which is exciting. Similar, this just uh, became that side, and I think we're going to do similar on this side. Can you see it yet? Can you see it? assembly this little chain 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 shout out ludicrous look at that little anchor kind of cool starting to come come together oh we got st sticker element time um, I also use the brick separator to apply stickers so now I'm just gonna have to stick my tongue out and try to get the sticker on there without messing it up Eloise my big old fingers here stick my tongue out that's yeah, not bad fairly straight I'm never really good at these stickers so that's good wow so we have it I mean we got the this thing is seaworthy it, it is funny it says on the on the box does not float does not float thank you Lego group that way we do oh, oh we have to sticker side number two Shout out to Symmetry. Symmetry. Let's see, where it's about in the same spot. All right, well, not too bad. Not too bad. And we have an interesting, oh, interesting element here at the end. What is today? What's today? Monday? Monday. So has anybody seen the eclipse yet? Has it happened, the eclipse? Anybody been in the totality? Chris and Wanda, you guys down in San Antonio, you're supposed to see it. Did it happen? Have you seen it? Hmm, what do we got? Oh, we got these two pieces. On top of this.
So uh, Wanda said the eclipse was about an hour ago. It just got dark, but couldn't see the eclipse because, oh yeah, cloudy in Texas this morning. Question from AA. Have you been registering your Legos to get the extra 20 VIP points from Lego? I have not. I do need to do that, though, dig out the instruction manuals. A lot of times I, I'll build off of the instructions on the iPad, like the PDF. But because of the weird internet uh, here, I'm going out of the book. But good point. I do need to do that because I um, they've, they've got some nice like mini builds now, the Ninjago small builds that you can get with your VIP points. I just ordered two of those, and so uh, I can use all the points that uh, I can get. So, uh, yeah, I think the internet's doing really good. And only I, on the cruising channel, I uploaded a 10 minute video. I did down res it to, um, HD instead of 4k, just standard HD. And it, um, it uploaded in about 30 minutes, which is really fast for a cruise ship. So I think, I definitely think we're doing some Starlink here. It's uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I did a couple tests to uh, with the software here, and it, it gave me the thumbs up for, hey, you're okay to live stream. So um, I think that's good. And then I got, like, I got three cameras hooked up. I mean, there's the camera that's inside of the, the laptop. Hey, what's up? Here's that laptop cam. And then you've got the, you know, this is an Insta360 camera. And then I've got my phone wirelessly is... Um, is this shot so this is my phone so i'm very pleased with how easily i'm able to stream uh, and get all these different camera shots on cruise ship wi-fi which is expensive expensive where yeah it's expensive i think i spent so it's a 14 day cruise and uh, i swallowed hard when i clicked the button that said yes i'll pay 352 dollars for uh for internet for 14 days that was uh I mean, I got to upload videos and stuff like that, so it's not a super surprise, but it was it was expensive. I was like, wow, that's crazy. It's so funny, though, when you think about, like, what you pay for internet at home, but, you know, you got all this technology that they're having to support and pay for, and, of course, it's a profit center, too. They're, you know, they're going to get you if you want to use the internet. So it, I just wish they would find a way to make it both fast and cheap, but very rarely do you get usually get one or the other but you very rarely get both in most uh in most instances all right now oh, these are nice little gold pieces that's pretty that's a cool looking gold element i like that gold element it's so amazing where just color and just you know these three little pieces actually just three pieces, but it's amazing the amount of detail it kind of adds to these models. Yes, Tony, you do sound like a Lego nerd. I'm sorry, my inner dialogue slipping out. Somebody asked me on a comment on the previous video, like, oh, I can't believe you're going to spend any time of your day uh you know on a cruise building lego but the funny thing is you know the beautiful thing about cruising is you you just do what you like to do when i did the transatlantic on holland america they had a huge game room and people were like puzzling all day long playing games all day long i mean that's really to me why cruising is the best vacation because no matter what itch that you have there's going to be a way to scratch it. Like if you want to go lay by the pool, you can lay by the pool. If you want to go have some drinks, you can have some drinks. The casino's packed out right now. There's all kinds of, there's bingo games and shows. And, um, you know, it's, I really love this form of traveling because it makes the travel to the destination part as fun as the destination. A lot of times, you know, if you're traveling, doing a land-based vacation, you're you're traveling to the place and that's a hassle the day of flying or whatever and you know then you get there and you start to have fun well the the thing i really like about cruising is you know you have fun as you're getting there so um you know it's again to each their own there's really no wrong way to cruise or wrong way to travel but like i said before this one's uh this one's definitely my favorite my favorite 
Hmm, are we having extra pieces? I, oh, no, no. Now we get to do the, the golden rods of goodness. The golden rods of goodness. Another nice element here. I love this technique. They're going to pop it in here. And then we're going to uh, shape it all the way around the, the boat. Building in a curve with the tension. That's really cool. That's really neat. And then we'll do the other side. And I'm going to pull this piece off every time I touch it. There we go. Nice. Got a feeling these are going to be extra pieces. That's right. All right, we're going to move on to bag two. Set these pieces to the side with our fallen minifigures over there. Uh, before I get there, though, I'll jump into the chat and see what you guys are talking about. There's my lovely daughter, Marissa. What's going on? Just got out of school. Happy to catch some of this bill. The lips just passed us. Oh, cool. Ship on the ship. Shipception. It's like super meta. Super meta. Oh, the phone view is gone and all of that changing around. Hold on. There we go. We're back. We're back. Thank you for that uh, heads up. Uh, let's see. Hugh so Sows 2 here in Middleburg. We got a great view of the partial eclipse. That's cool. I'm hoping that, uh, I'm sure there's going to be like, there'll be people that have it posted, you know. Question, how do you plan on transporting your cl completed Lego back once it's over? I don't know if you were there when I answered, but Ziploc bag. Uh, Shizar, do I have the Titanic Lego? I do have the Titanic Lego. I'm going to, um, when I get back from this 14 days, I'll probably be at home for all of May. And so I have the Titanic and the uh, Eiffel Tower. Hopefully we can do that. Do a little live stream. Let's uh, release the pieces for bag two. There we go. Teeny ten. Make sure we got all the pieces out of there. Oh, they're rolling away. Ice cold mint julep. My wife would probably will would partially break down our Lego Christmas Village for storage. Yeah, I've been uh, picking up those Christmas sets. I haven't I haven't built the last couple. I only have one built, but uh, that's what I want to do. Uh, is now we've got a little more of a permanent location to put stuff now. So I kind of want to kind of want to uh, like build out a Christmas Village every year. Oh my goodness. Look at the dolphins. The dolphins. Oh, that's cool. That, I think that's worth this whole set. These two dolphins. Dolphins. Okay. Uh, question from Alex and Erica. Do you usually keep the boxes of all the sets you build? I have so far. Uh, I'm on the fence. So in the Lego community, one of the larger creators, his name is Brixie. I think he said he throws away his boxes, but then I've heard other people say they keep their boxes. It's a lot. Like you can break them down and, um, I don't know, you know, like 
I do sell some of my Lego sets, but in my mind, I'm like, you know, am I going to sell what I built? Am I not going to sell what I built? And do you really get that much more value having the box? I think a lot of times you do. Lego's really interesting, though, in the fact that you can build it and display it and still sell it. You're not going to get as much as a sealed box, but you're going to, for retired sets, you're definitely going to get more than what you paid for it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, maybe I should poll the kids, like, hey, uh, this Lego's going to be part of your inheritance. Do you, do you want the box or not want the box? Um, who knows? Yeah, so, well, it was, all of it were three bag twos, Jim, so you got to dump them all out, though, because even though they're three different bags, as long as it says bag two, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be pulling from them. And then, uh, Ice Cold Mint Julep, what's up with the extra pieces? Lego always gives you extra pieces, which is nice. At my house, I have these, uh, things that you would put nuts and bolts in. And they're just full of the extra Lego pieces. So and I've already started on the wrong uh, with the wrong piece here. That is the trick, I guess, with talking and talking and building. I think I'll get better at it. I think the messing up's kind of good, though. Helps you uh, keeps your mind on what you're doing. He says what I'm telling myself. All right. It's interesting. What are we building? We're building this little assembly here. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Maybe the cabin. Maybe the cabin. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, it's going to be interesting when I get back home. I already have a spot where I record my cruise videos, but I have more space there. So I want to set up a table and maybe some permanent cameras to make this experience a little different. Or I don't think this is horrible, but uh, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to spending some time trying to solve that problem of, of how to set up a live stream for Lego. But But the biggest thing I'm like struggling with Lego wise right now is what to collect and what to display. And, you know, I, I know that it, if I limit my thought process, then it, it'll probably make me like want something more than I probably should. So I, uh, but in the, so Lego makes these things called modulars, which are buildings that connect together. So I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm committed to connect. I don't think I'm going to build a Lego city, which is, uh, something that a lot of people do, but I think I would rather display stuff on shelves. So modulars, travel related stuff. I, I don't know what else. So I did do pretty good though for the April releases. You know, they, they put out these Dungeons and Dragons sets, which I, I do like Dungeons and Dragons, but I didn't I didn't get the Dungeon and Dragon set. They also put a put out a Batman art set. And I didn't get that either, so I feel like I'm making progress. I'm not just blindly buying everything just for the sake of having it. Even though I do have some stuff in my collection that I purchased just because, but uh, but you can't buy everything, you know. Like it's you know it's a if you had enough money to buy everything, you you might not have enough space. So it's kind of it's kind of one of those things. Interesting. What direction does that go? A 
A lot of interesting gold pieces on this. Uh, you don't see this color that often, this gold color, in a lot of builds. Or at least I have, so maybe what I'm building doesn't normally have that color profile. It's pretty cool. So we have a little cabin now. Little cabin. really neat so now if you can look into the into the hull of the ship boat hold the boat all right oh look up next we're building a sail we're building two sails Let's see what you guys are doing over here Let's see, that's a good question from Jim Megzi. Do you ever build outside the instructions? I'm not. I'm not a very, I don't feel like I'm a very creative Lego builder. So I'm, I'm fairly content just building the sets. Like, you know, just respecting and enjoying the work of the other, of you know, people that put these Lego sets together. But I love to see Lego art. Like, I, I like to, we went to a convention recently. And um, I probably could, you know, the weird thing is, you know, sometimes people will take these kind of parts that they have here, these sets, and then they'll just bust them up into different parts. I kind of like having still all the parts with the same set. So I think I would have to, you know, spend a lot of effort collecting other parts just to build with. Um, but I do have some ideas. Like, I think it would be fun. There's a couple things that I think it would be fun to build. So who knows? Uh, maybe, maybe in the future I'll do some more. So they call them in the Lego community, they call them mocks, M-O-C, my own creation. I don't, I don't build a lot of mocks, but uh, there's a lot of great people out there that do. Of course, if you watch Lego Masters, that's, that's exactly what that competition is. People building from their own brains out of the parts available, which is uh, pretty amazing. I, I just don't, I don't really have that skill set. And I don't know, I, you know, not, not that I couldn't develop it, I don't think, but I'm not there yet. starting to come together pretty interestingly of course I did it backwards there we go it's very subtle they got a black and a gray a lot of the construction of these masks is uh, from the Technic line you know, Lego really at least I mean, I don't know, probably not going to get this completely right, but they uh, they have the standard set. That's what most of the bricks are, standard set. And then they also have Technic bricks and Duplo bricks. And so uh, sometimes you'll see a mix of the bricks in between the sets. And, like, especially when there's structural stuff like this, you're going to usually get Technic, Technic Lego to give yourself some sort of structure or hold things together because they have these pins all right see day lego bill what you doing see day lego bill I'm kind of excited to uh, have this uh, boat on display. I'm glad that uh, glad that this was the first one that I built. I'm sure I don't think I don't think anybody will care that it's here, but I wonder how often uh, they run into built Lego on cruise ships. I, I can't I can't think that I would be the only person that builds Lego on cruise ships. I'm sure there's others that do it. Do it. This goes here. Interesting. Interesting. 
for running out of space. All right, now on to the main sails here. I love the fact that these are brick built sails. There's been some other nautical themes like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean have a couple sets and there are some like older bigger pirate ships and interestingly they will use like a cloth sail or a paper sail so it's really kind of neat to see these brick built sails. Sails. Come together before our very eyes. All right, we're going on to the mast here. How cool is that? I like it. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Lego for your face. That's right. For your face. What's going on over here in this chat? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I like that Jim Anderson. Some puzzles have a photo of the finished puzzle, but they're 1D. Uh, yeah, that, that would be a cool set. Ice Cold Mint Julep, uh, an exclusive Carnival Whale Tale. The only official Lego set that I know for sure of a cruise ship is the... Um, MSC ship, which I brought with me. I'll build that in a few days. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I missed any questions. Question, do you ever think of ever becoming a professional builder for Lego? No, I'm going to leave that to... I, I follow some professionals that are really amazing, and again, I don't think uh, I don't think I could pull that off, but I do. I do it just for the fun, really. I like it. Uh, let's see. We're getting close. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky. Did I put this one on upside down? Ooh, we've got trouble, kids. All right, let's switch this around.
an easy fix. There we go. Look at that. Like a glove, like a glove. There we go. We're starting to get two, uh, two sales going. And the pile of parts gets smaller. So I know probably many of you come from the cruising side, but anybody out there build Lego? Or do you guys, let, which the, what's the last Lego set you may have built? That'd be interesting to know. Oh, Cindy recently built the up house. Crystal says, I saw your video that you have the Titanic set. My husband and I recently built that and added the lighting kit. Oh, that's nice. Was it hard to add the lighting kit? I've never used the lighting kit before, but I've seen, I've seen several. That does sound pretty cool. Uh, question, can't remember from your other videos. Do you have some LED kits done? I have several and they're really cool. I know I don't. Yeah, that's I need to do that. The least favorite uh, El Lego list. That's a good one, uh, Kenneth. I like that. Oh, Jen Megzi built the Arctic Research ship. I like those sets. Those sets are nice. What I'm really excited about is I think we're supposed to get a Jaws set sometime this year that has the shark. And the the ship or the boat, and uh, some awesome minifigs. I'm looking forward to that one. The sales are getting close. two big pieces now or at least one big piece plate here how cool is that look at that it's coming together keeps going We're going taller I didn't, like, just looking at the box, I didn't anticipate that they would have this movement component, which I think is uh, really cool. assembly here.
Top of the sale, y'all. Top of the sale. Very cool. Maybe it's not top of the sale. We're going further. Top of that sale, though. See, I don't think this this set's going to be bigger. I think than my Ziploc bag. The the sale itself is already bigger than the Ziploc bag. See, it could be tricky to get these home. It's going to be interesting. I have to dim disassemble on some level to get them home. I guess that's the big fear, like bringing them, no big deal, but getting them home without without losing pieces is the is the thing, right? You don't want to lose the pieces. Wow, this is really cool how this goes together. We are ready to put this uh, on the on the ship, on the boat. Dun 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 dun. Then you got the little rope that attaches here. How cool is this? And then you got the one that attaches here. I love that it's got a little play on it too. I can attach it. I'm gonna can make it uh, reflect the way the wind blows. It's interesting. Did I miss putting this window in somewhere? Oh, I wonder if I missed that window. Hmm. Should we go back and check just to make sure it's not in the cabin? I think I might. It seems like that would make sense. That's where it would go. Did I miss the window? Well, there's multiple windows. Yeah, maybe I haven't got to them yet. No, no window component on there. Okay. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Just being paranoid. Alright, let's see if we can do this without uh, breaking pieces off. It's a legit uh, boat here. Okay. And then these are going to be united. Look 
course, I pulled them off. That makes uh, sense. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, Crystal, I think that jaw set's going to be pretty pretty nice. Ardell, I want to get the Concorde a bit too large. Imagine bringing that to build on your cruise. Yeah, I think I think this is this is a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought I brought just kind of small stuff, but uh, yeah. Crystal said it's worth getting the ones that you can convert to plug power in as opposed to the battery pack. Oh, yeah, for, like, the, the LED set. All right, we still got a couple more pieces. Okay, we're going to build out the uh, the dolphins. Let's see. Put the boat somewhere that's not going to be too much in the way so you can still see the dolphins. Let's move them over here. Still see the boat? Okay back to the to the fake waves by the transparent cheese wedges oh wow look at these like little coral pieces that's pretty neat Lighter one. We have a darker one. Maybe. There we go. Hello. Hit the camera. It's a little more room. So I can see the dolphins. Pretty well. I didn't realize they connect. Not sure how it connects. There we go. Now the windows come into play. Dolphins like up in the air. That's really cool. Look at the dolphins just jumping. How neat is that? It's pretty cool. Oh, and that's it. Oh, and I've knocked the front off again. It's the weakest point of the ship there. All right, let's put the people in the boat. Oh, there's no little stud for her to stand on though. They're just standing free. Of course this guy we can cheat a little bit and stick him in there. We'll do it without the minifix, but here is the final product. Officially, the name of the set is the Sailboat Adventure. It has these little dolphins. Uh, gosh, overall, I think this was pretty fun to build. Like I mentioned earlier, I like the all the different color elements. I like the use of the gold, and I love the fact that the sails are brick-built and then of course you get this nice dolphin water feature uh, this was a gift with purchase so I don't know how much money I had to spend in 2021 to get this but uh, 
yeah, you spend a certain amount of money and they give you a free gift. I think this is great. 300 pieces, 330 pieces. Uh, spectacular build. And now I just have to figure out how to transport it home without uh, without it coming apart. I think that I can take a couple pieces apart. I can take that sail off and uh, I think that would be really cool. But um, yeah, let's see what you guys... Any final questions? Uh, Lego sets man generated are all by computer. Now, Jim, I think they're all designed by people. Yeah, Ice Coleman, Julep, the people for the ethical treatment of uh, ta Lego animals. You guys see uh, the towel animal back there has survived. Well. Let's see if I can show you these guys without them falling over. They're taking a dive. Okay, the minifigs aren't going to survive. This lady right here, she's driving the boat. <laughs> there you go. Thank you guys so much for checking out the show, coming to the live stream today. And, um, yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments, what you think about this Lego build. And um, thank you so much for watching. My name's Tony for Loca Bricks, and uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next video. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.